Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I hope you had a wonderful week. So today I'm going to show you how to share the dashboard app that you create with Dash on Google Collab and on Kaggle. A lot of you have asked me, Adam, how do I, how do I uh, share the dashboard app with the rest of the world without having to up deploy the app to Heroku, AWS, Python Anywhere, just create the code and share with a link with whoever you want to share. So there are several ways to do that. One way is through Google Collab, and the other way is through Kaggle. So today that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to, I created this app, and we're going to share this Cytoscape Dash app. You see how the things change, things move. Um, we're gonna share that with this code on Google Collab, uh, and then send the link so somebody else can see it. We're going to do the same thing with Kaggle as well. So as always, the code that I'm going to use is right here in my GitHub under the video. Uh, feel free to download the code if you want. You can click on it and then click on raw and then click on uh, right, right click, save as, and make sure you save the file as an IPython file in the directory where you want to save it, where you want to run your code. Okay, let's go back. Um, and like always, um, uh, you'll see uh, under the video also a video layout. So if you want to jump to a certain section of the video, use that video layout under the YouTube video to go wherever you want. All right, so let's start with um, Google Collab. So what I did from the very beginning, I just did like this. I went back and I said, let's Google Collab, search for that. Let's click on this. Make sure you're logged in into your, your Google account right here. And then we click Upload like this, or if you're inside here, just go File, Upload Notebook. And here you would choose a file, and we're going to choose this that I have on my computer and on GitHub. We're going to do this, Google Collab. It's an IPython file. And you see now it has the name. Now, before you run it on Google Collab, my recommendation is to run it on your computer, make sure it works correctly. So this two, the first two Jupyter cells is for Google Collab, because you're going to share this with someone else on their Google Collab. They are going to, your friend or your boss is going to run this on their Google Collab. So they need to install uh, Jupyter Dash and Dash Cytoscape on their own virtual environment in Google Collab. Um, but you, on your computer, if you already have Jupyter Dash installed and you already have Dash Cytoscape installed, you can skip this and just run this cell. So I ran this cell and I see that the app is working, right? Always make sure your app works before you actually share it on, on load it to Google Collab. And now on Google Collab, so now let's pip install Dash. Okay, so that took about well, one minute, and now we're going to pip install Cytoscape. It takes about five seconds, I think. And when this is done installing um, Cytoscape, we're going to run this app. <clears throat> Look how we're doing. We're doing it with Jupyter Dash, and this is different. We're doing Jupyter Dash. We're not doing app dot dash. And I'm um, downloading code, not code, but uh, see an Excel sheet from um, my GitHub, it's a raw GitHub. So this Excel sheet actually exists in my Cytoscape uh, library inside my GitHub repository. It's right here. You see org.data.csv, I click on that, I did raw, and this is, the, this is the link. So this is what I have inside my Google Collab right here. Now I ran the cell, and I'm going to see that it works, and I see that. I have the app completely functioning and working well, right? Okay, so now that I have the app working, what I want to do is share it. So I'm going to click on share. I'm going to click on um, get link. I'm going to change this to anybody can access it. Only viewer. I don't want them to comment or to edit, only to view. Then I'm going to copy the link and then I'll send it to my boss, let's say, not my boss, is a tutorial email. Um, great link here, and then just send. 
So then my boss or my friend goes into their Gmail account. They're going into their own Gmail account on, on this browser, on their own computer. And then they're going to click on the link that I just sent them. And they want to click on this. And again, they're obviously logged in into their Gmail account. And now they have this. So for them to run it, they're going to have to, um, let's see if they can just click on this. Play run anyway. This is a just notification that it's coming from a complete stranger. <laughs> so you see if we try to run it this way, it will say no model name dash, Jupyter dash. So we have to install Jupyter dash first on the Google Collab, which is on my, my boss's Google Collab. And now we'll install this. This takes about, again, like about, I don't know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds to a minute. And then this takes two seconds, and then now we're going to run this. The data, again, it comes from GitHub, so it's, it's just reading it from there. And now you see that my boss is running my app, or my friend is running my app on their own Google Collab. Okay? But this is, this is something that you can do with, with Jupyter Dash. I don't think you can do this with Jupyter with regular Python file like a PyCharm. I think it's just with Dash, but if you watching this video find a different way of doing it, a faster way of sharing a Google Collab, please let me know and let everybody else know on the comments below the video so we can learn from each other. Okay, so now let's see how we do this on Kaggle. Just a quick note, if you're liking this and appreciating this tutorial so far, make sure to hit the um, the subscribe button on YouTube and I would encourage you to also um, go on the Patreon link above or on YouTube membership and join my membership. It would mean a lot to you support my work and also for you, you would get a warm fuzzy feeling that you're helping me with this education that I'm providing and you would get Plotly trips uh, and tricks and consultation and support via email uh, that, I, that I provide to my members. So thank you for considering that. Um, let's jump into Google, uh, into Kaggle. So for Kaggle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Adam um, Kaggle account, which is right here. Right, this is I'm logged in as Adam, as you can see here. Uh, well, you can't see that, but that's that's me. <laughs> and then we'll go into Code, and then we'll go into New Notebook. And this notebook, oh, let's try again like we did before. We're actually going to um, upload into Kaggle this notebook. It's the same it's the same um, application but here I'm installing uh, I'm doing from Pi ngrok import ngrok and then I'm adding this line of code here. The main difference between the main app and the Google app is just the line of code here that doesn't exist. It's this line of code here is the main difference. We're actually connecting to uh, we're creating a, a tunnel or we're connecting to ngrok. ngrok is a cross-platform application that enables you to expose your local uh, development server to the internet, right? So we're going to do that through Kaggle. I'll share this link below the video so you can also learn about it. Um, you can read more about it. Okay, so what do we have? Let's see. Let's just make sure our app works. So we're going to don't don't run this, don't run this, just run this, okay? Control enter. I, we assume that you already have uh, Jupyter Dash installed. Uh, only you need Dash and only you need Cytoscape, these things, right? If we run it and we see, one second. Oh, we gotta stop this. We gotta uh, close it and just run it again. Discard. Okay, so I'm just gonna run this cell because I already have Dash and Cytoscape installed and the tunnel is not defined. We have to take this out. We forgot to take this out. You don't need this for running it on your computer. Run it now. Click on that. And you see that your Dash app is actually working. Great. So now let's put it on Kaggle. Let's add, don't forget to add back this line of code. Right, this is connecting to the server, and we're going to import ngrok. So we're going to do this, and this is for Kaggle, right? So let's go back into Kaggle account. We're going to delete this. We don't need this cell. 
and we're going to do um, let me take you back actually so you don't get confused okay leave the notebook so you go into the main page you add code you say new notebook and it's going to create a new notebook for you and here we're going to upload a notebook so we're going to say um, file open notebook and we're going to drop this Kaggle notebook which has ngrok in it upload and now you see we have the exact code, right? The first two cells to install the libraries, um, ngrok, and we have this line of code which we need for our for Kaggle. Once we have this, let's run it and make sure that it. Oh, make sure that internet. Sometimes this in settings you have to open settings, and I had this off by default. You need you need this to be on by default in order for your app to work, right? So this is on, and now we're going to run it. Okay, that took about 40 seconds, and I'm going to pip install Cytoscape. Perfect, that took about 20 seconds, and now we're going to import the library, downloading ngrok. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And now I'm going to run the app. If you're creating an app that does not use Cytoscape, you don't need this. If it's a regular app, just regular dash and dash components, then you can take that out. Okay, so we ran this. And now we see that it created a, a link for us on ngrok. You click this, and you see that we have our app that's working. One second. It's taking some time to load. Grid, perfect, right first. And you see that this is working like we want it to work. Perfect. So we know that our app is running on, on Kaggle. Now what you want to do is make sure you save it. So you save this version. Let's close this and save it. We'll call it, um, I guess, version 1. That's fine. Version 1, save and run all commits. I'll just save it the way it currently looks. So I don't have to run everything over again. Okay, this took about 10 seconds. Now we're going to, ah, view. Oh, that, that disappeared. Okay. Okay, so now that it's done saving, I also saved it as another version just to make sure I, I saved it as save and run all commit. You can do either way. Now, going to share. Going to, I'm going to share it with everybody. I'm going to share public. Make sure to copy this, but make sure to save. Save that. And now I'm going to share it on my inbox, I'm going to send it to tutorial to my boss. Great Kaggle link, dude. You would never talk to your boss that way. Um, send the email. And now my boss goes into uh, their link. Let's just delete this just so you can see. Refreshes their Gmail account. And then clicks on the link that I sent them. They click on this. You have to be logged into um, to, to Kaggle, obviously. And once you're logged into Kaggle, now you see that this, this is the link that I shared that it works. At least they have the, the, the app code. To run this, they will actually copy and edit, right? Because this is not, this is not um, on, on their own Kaggle. They haven't saved any version yet. So they will run this. They will um, click on this and run this and that. And that. So look what happens. This after 10 seconds, I get this error, and I get this error because if I go here to settings, this is a new Kaggle account. I'll have accelerator. I need a phone verification, and internet requires phone verifications. Remember, we need the internet um, tab to be open. You see right here, this you have to have a connection to the internet. So if you're new to Kaggle, just uh, just do a phone verification. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so I just did the phone verification. Now I have access to internet. Do that, and now I'm going to run everything over again. Start the session. Okay, so that worked. Uh, just make sure to start session before you run the cell. This took about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this. And lastly, we're going to run this. Once it's done, we'll see something down here. Let's give it a minute. 
Perfect, so it created an ngrok created a, uh, an external link for us. If we click on this, now we see that Adam's friend or Adam's boss now has access to the app that Adam created. One thing it's important for you to know, it's, it's a caveat. Ngrok um, limit, limits their free account, this is a free account of Ngrok, to 20 connections per minute. And every time you run a callback, you're doing a connection. So um, that's why after 20 connections, you will get this error. And this error just means that um, the, the limit has been reached. So if you click on this, you'll see too many connections. The tunnel session has violated the rate of 20 connections per minute because we had 30 connections. So that's that's the the, the, the only drawback of using Ngrok on Kaggle. So if you only have, you know, if you're using the app with less connections, it would work. But this is something that you have to let your, your users know or maybe you can find a way to create an account on Ngrok through Kaggle uh, that's paid and you would be able to, um, to allow the user to use more sessions. But I, I, I don't know how to do this. I couldn't figure that out. If you did figure it out, make sure to add it to the comments below the video so other people can learn as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you, um, you benefited from this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Um, if you did, click the subscribe button, um, click the support link up above if you'd like to support my work or get a head start learning Dash and get some consultations and support. Um, always remember, we're better together, so help each other out and uh, keep practicing, never give up. See you later.